Hi guys and welcome back to iClone3D.com, the number one spot for all your animation needs. And today we're going to be looking at how to create dynamic grass and dynamic trees. And we're going to look at how to kind of make it look like we're in a windstorm and have the trees kind of blowing around everywhere. It looks really cool and it's really easy to do. So firstly, you're going to want to lay your terrain. I've got mine set down here. And then in your content tab in the set over here, you can see we've got trees, grass, particles, etc. We're going to look at the grass for now. And in this section, you can see we've got a number of different um, elements that we can actually use in our scene. We're going to be looking at the grass, so I'm just going to drag and drop that in the scene. And we can see we've got a little plot of grass. And over here in this modify section, we can actually start to garden. And we can actually make a lot more grass, as you can see here. And at the click of a button, that's going to create a whole heap of grass for you. So it's really, really easy and really quick. And if I stop that, and I hit play, you can see the grass actually moves. So that's really amazing, guys. And you can see, um, you know, we've got actual grass just moving. We didn't have to do anything to animate that. It's already animated. The great thing about it is it all comes free with iClone 8. So, you know, you don't have to pay additional funds. You actually get that for free and we all have a freebie. So why not? Now, another great thing, we can actually manipulate the amount of wind that's actually pushing that grass. So I'm gonna create a tree here and um, we'll just create one of these trees, this big old tree, and looking like we're in a forest. And I'll just start gardening. I don't wanna create too many of these. So I'm just gonna decrease the size and the number of trees that we're gonna create. We'll maybe create another two and we'll maybe make the size a bit bigger. Well, we'll just create one and I'm going to create that one there and we'll put one there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go down here and you can see we've got the plant wind setting. So we can actually set the wind on these trees, the amount of blow, the amount of gust, etc. So if I increase that all the way there and I increase the gust frequency all the way up to 100 and hit play, you're gonna now see how that kind of reacts with those trees. So you can just see how cool that looks, guys. Imagine you're doing a scene, you know, in a stormy night, you can really create that effect. So simple, so easy. And that's likewise with all of these props here, all of these elements, you can actually, um, you know, add some dynamics to them, add some gusts and wind, etc. And it's just really cool, really easy to actually do. And again, you know, you can really start to build your scene and, you know, create some wonderful looking scenes and just start to layer everything up and, you know, build your foregrounds and your backgrounds. And, you know, in no time, you've got a whole scene that you've built from scratch and it's just really unique and it looks really cool. So, um, you know, I really hope this helps you go away and create some amazing stuff, guys, because you can see um, when I play that back, it just looks phenomenal, you know, with all those dynamics and, you know, not having to add the animation myself. It just looks really, really cool. And um, it's just a really easy way to, you know, really draw the attention to your scenes, get your viewers kind of watching back and just really, you know, thinking incredible, incredible work, guys. I'm out of words. I think it's incredible. And um, I really hope it helps you guys go away and create some amazing, amazing content. Really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.